probably you will notice that there is no option anymore over here to make a new title. That option has disappeared with the latest release. Um, there is still a legacy title uh, option within the file new menu, um, which will give you basically the, the old and familiar way of making titles in the title editor. Um, over here title has disappeared, uh, the graphics menu is there now, which will give you motion graphic templates. Um, but making titles is way easier now from out the essential graphics menu. Um, the essential graphics menu will give you a panel which is rather large actually. Well, let's dock it over here inside of the interface, uh, which is better I think. Um, but it's, uh, it's a panel with a browse option and an edit option. So with browsing uh, you can go through the uh, templates that are already been made by Adobe um, or your own templates made in After Effects, which is really cool. Uh, probably going to make another video about that part. Um, but let's stick with uh, a basic title template and just drag and drop it on top of my video. There we go, and it will give me a motion graphics template. Something like this. Pretty cool. And of course you can alter it again, because um, your title here isn't such a fancy title. Um, so I need to select my clip over here, my title clip, and that will give me an option to select your title here, um, and I can alter it. A way to, uh, to alter the, uh, the typography, well that can be done from out this panel. Um, so let's scroll down a bit and choose a font which is uh, maybe more interesting. Well, maybe a trebuchet. Um, of course, you can alter the fill color. Let's select a color with the color picker, something like this. Okay, and maybe I want to have a little shadow. There we go. Of course, I want to uh, make it stand out a bit more, so probably I will need to have a rectangle behind it. Well, from this little new icon option, a new layer, I can make a new rectangle and that will give me a blue rectangle which is on top of my title which is not that fancy uh, but I can adjust it rather easily within the program monitor itself on the stage so there we go um, and just by uh, dragging and dropping your layer order you can rearrange your layers and bring your title on top um, and of course I can alter the shape as well by going over here and then selecting another color something like this maybe I don't need the uh, the shadow behind it okay well maybe something like this would be okay now it's all about uh, changing the, the, the title itself um, you can use the new type tool over here well new it's it comes from the original, uh, the other window, uh, but now you can select it from the original uh, interface, the main interface. Uh, select your title inside of your program monitor. Your wedding. There we go, and maybe alter it a bit. With making use of the save margins. Well, maybe something like this and of course you can animate it or uh, use an effect like a transition to make it uh, pop up in your interface so this is a really new and uh, yeah, slick way to make uh, your titles now and when I want to uh, reuse it again I can simply do uh, uh, alt drag like this select that um, title and go into the uh, your wedding um, and maybe this uh, is the title for uh, the ceremony or something like that and that will alter your um, um, your title only over here and not over here so that is really cool let's have a quick look of the uh, lower thirds of course there are, are some uh, cool animated ones in there as well um, so let's drag and drop it on top of the video that will give me another motion graphics template. Um, with some lovely animation in there. 
And of course, even this title, title uh, can be altered as well. So your name here, that's the typography. This is uh, one of the, uh, the shapes behind it, etc. You can alter them uh, with no problem at all. Um, so yeah, that's the new feature of making titles in Software Pro. I hope you like it, have good fun with it, and check my other new video later this week about making these titles inside of After Effects for using inside of Mirpro. Bye bye!